Welcome back, Wolfpack. Vrillis here, and this is How to Use Shiftry. Shiftry is an interesting Pokemon when we look at its stats, that we kind of already see just one of those middle range sweepers that we've been seeing quite a few of, that 100 attack, 90 special attack, and 80 speed. Well, we've seen trends like this before. 100 attack, while not the highest, we can make it work. 80 speed, while not the highest, we can make it work. That's Scarf, some kind of speed support, maybe an ability is going to come through. It's going to work out pretty well. The attack can get some decent work in as well, depending on how much strength we can put into the moveset. And the 90 base hit points, surprising. I wasn't expecting, like, you don't expect that from a Pokemon like this. But then the low defenses kind of balance that out. So what can you do? When we get typing, we have Grass Dark. And this is probably one of the worst defensive typings, unfortunately. That that is a lot of weaknesses, and you're really not going to be able to survive much. So, the decent hit point bulk that we were playing with earlier kind of means nothing. And it's hilarious because we have very few neutral hits, and it's all just weaknesses and resistances with that immunity to Psychic. So, that, that makes it fairly interesting. Hopping into Pokemon Showdown, we're going to kind of get to see how this shiftery works out. And one of the movesets I was thinking about is just, you have to make that chlorophyll work. And whether or not that's going to be in singles or doubles is up to you. You can do single sun teams rather well. That all you need is a Pokemon that sets up drought. Uh, we can use a nine tails with a heat rock here. Or you can have any Pokemon using sunny day and a heat rock. And you can kind of get a good chlorophyll uh, thing on your side. That this is why shift tree can be really strong even with that 88 base speed. Chlorophyll, if sunny day is active, the speed is doubled. So when we look at the stats, I was going for the 68 speed points. Because it feels like 109 is where you want to be at level 50. Or at least at level 100, you also want to be, I believe, at like 209 or something like that. That way you outspeed 145 base speed Pokemon with their speedy nature. So a timid or jolly 145 base speed Pokemon, you actually outspeed it under the chlorophyll, which is kind of the benchmark that we want to set here. While it is very fast, you'll be able to get an edge on those Pokemon while being able to go with the adamant nature and keeping all of that damage on your side. So after that, I was thinking Life Orb and then some kind of coverage from here. That Leaf Blade is going to be excellent. 90 base power, really good. Going to have Stab and a slightly better chance to crit. Knock Off, going to have Stab, remove your opponent's item if they're not a Mega, and then get bonus damage from there. Power Punch is this kind of option I felt that if you're setting up Sun, most likely Shiftry is going to be a Pokemon that's brought in afterwards. So use that Pokemon that's setting Sun to do some extra damage. Shiftry can come in and maybe even like Power Up Punch to score a KO. Or if there's like a Pokemon that's weak against fighting, you can actually come in, try to go for that KO, and now you get free boost, which is just going to make all this easier. And then here's where it gets interesting. Foul Play is actually very useful on even very high attack Pokemon. Well, not very high, but since Shiftry only has 100 base attack, if a Pokemon has higher base attack, Foul Play would be doing more damage. It's a 95 base power move that's going to get stabbed while using the opponent's attack. That could become an incredibly strong hit with just the whole setup that you have here, even though we're running an Adamant Shiftry. Uh, people will say Sucker Punch. Now, Sucker Punch, I believe it's only a Heart Gold Soul Silver move tutor move. Like, they actually didn't bring back Sucker Punch as a move tutor for Shiftry for Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. So, we're, Sucker Punch is going to be very exclusive, a very old move that you're not going to see much of. And other than that, like your physical coverage, yeah, you can put in Protect here if you're running it in doubles. Other than that, you're pretty much really good with just Leaf Blade, Knock Off, and Power Up Punch. And that's why I had just the other option here, that Foul Play just can boost more damage while being a good stab option. And if you want to have a better fighting move, you can go with Low Kick or Brick Break. That's pretty much what we're going to see here. We're going to go for that little out speed. We're going to give ourselves slightly more durability. If there's any chance that you can turn yourself from a one-hit KO into a two-hit KO, this extra hit point investment might pull that off. And then we can just get the speed that we need with the attack that we want. So now we're thinking more specifically double battles. That you need a Pokemon like Charizard Y. This Pokemon's going to bring Drought. You can also have any other Pokemon that brings Sun. But you can support it really well with Shift Tree. Shift Tree has Fake Out. You go Fake Out. Boom. Well now... Charizard is going to only have to worry about one hit. Shiftry is only going to have to worry about one hit. You can use Focus Sash to kind of keep that up. And then the next turn, your speed is going to be doubled. Now, with this, since you're running Focus Sash, hit point investment isn't really necessary. So you can go for something like this. Or if you wanted to get really fancy, you can still also go for something in the special attack department. Like, um, I'm trying to look for nature because it just occurred to me. Like, you can run Mild since we're not really caring about defenses. We can get that speed to where you just want to outspeed all those opponents. And then you can run some special attack. And now you can actually go with, I believe it gets Leaf Storm. So instead of Leaf Blade, you can go and just have some kind of other option that's going to be high damage and then also let you transition out well. 
Knockoff is going to be supportive as well. Now you're going to be very fast removing your opponent's items, potentially scoring KOs, and then in, at the end of the day, you're, you might be at one health because of the Focus Sash. You might not have your ultimate opportunity to do anything. Just explode. Have Charizard carry, like, the Charizard set I like running is Heat Wave, Air Slash, Protect, and Solar Beam. So, I mean, have Charizard protect, suddenly explosion, you might be able to score some high damage on two of your opponent's Pokemon, maybe even knock one of them out, and that's going to be very good to have from there, that these Pokemon will cover for each other very well, and you can get some strength from it. After that, I was just kind of looking into more singles, doubles ideas, that Swords Dance, very viable option, that you can use Fake Out to help with the setup, Swords Dance to keep your Focus Sash going, and then knock off Leaf Blade as that high damage stab that we were talking about earlier, that gives you just a lot of good things. And then, just, uh, just a special idea. So what we have is we're going to be running Naive. Try to get as much speed on this as possible. Or we can also go for the Special Attack Mild again, depending on which way you want to carry it. Because if you're not setting up Chlorophyll, then Naive is going to be the way, way to go. If you have Chlorophyll, then go with the Mild. And you actually get some good coverage. That in doubles, this can be really interesting. Icy Wind will help support Charizard. That instead of Fake Out, first turn, Icy Wind. If you're not getting double focused, Focus Sash will keep you alive. You'll have the speed to throw out a strong Dark Pulse or Energy Ball next turn. Following that up with Charizard's damage, it can go out really well. And since it'll be slowed down, Charizard will have speed priority, and it can be good overall. Icy Wind was actually a move I didn't mention on Ludicolo, because Ludicolo is really busted with Icy Wind, so it's going to be good damage potential, like just breaks. Breaks uh, Sash, hits both Pokemon, and then just keeps you in a good speed tier. So pretty much it's going to be like that, Life Orb, Chlorophyll, we've seen a lot of Chlorophyll Pokemon, they're going to do the same thing, and they can be very strong because of that high amount of speed. Other than that, you have to find that other speed support, a Scarf can work out, but with that 100 base attack, it's not going to be the strongest thing you might encounter. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and that's how you use Shiftry.